Hola! Como esta ustedes? But I'm the one, the only, I'm Io del Hobo, El Vagabundo. Dos. And I'm here. Well, mainly because it's time to watch the most glorious, the most stupendico, magnifico, maestro. That's Italian. Well, yeah. Most magnifico of all wrestling events. Triple A. Triple Mania! Notes. Um, oh yeah. You know what? Matsu! Senior Hobo Tom appreciates your comments. You, sir, know that. Shh. Jordan Grace has back. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. And with that being said, let's get to El Predicciones for Triple Mania, capital dos. Um, later, um, El Doctor Tom will be back. And he will talk a little bit about Slammiversary. Oh, but no, it's not time for that. It's time for the most crazy, a loco, pro luchador y luchadores libre. Si. Triple Mania, chapter dos. So we're continuing, and now that I understand this better, we're continuing the Mask versus Millions match. I forget what they exactly call it, but what is happening is that the loser gets absolutely nothing. The winners go on into this tournament, and then in the finals, which will be Triple Mania Capital Trace. The two winners will lucha. E the loser loses the mascaras. No, must always keep el mascaras sacred. And the winner gets like I don't know, like a million pesos. Although. <laughs> Last time, they were just randomly throwing pesos in the ring. Never saw that before. And I'm just like, hey, are they throwing money in the ring? What are they paying out? Wait, people are throwing the money. What? And the referee's putting it in his pocket. That's, that was... Never seen that before. Probably will never see that again. Uh, so in this round, we have Pentagon Jr. versus Blue Demon Jr. Last time all the old guys won. I think Blue Demon Jr. is going to win this time. And then we'll have Villano the fourth, the fourth Villano versus Psycho Clown. This is good. This will set up Psycho Clown. Versus Blue Demon Jr. And somehow, Andrade El Ilo e Dr. Wagner Jr. will get involved somehow. And they might, yeah, they might cost, cost Villano for the match. Psycho Clown has to wrestle Blue Demon Jr. The loser loses the mask. The winner gets like a million pesos. Whatever. Um, so yeah. So Blue Demon Jr. and Psycho Clown win their matches. Then I don't know what's going to happen. She's just so hard to call a sleeper. I'll say this will be the sleeper because I'm not too sure who it's going to be. It was supposed to be Dragon Lee and Dralistico. Versus the Hardys. 
I don't need to tell you guys what happened to one of the Hardys. So I don't think they're going to have that match. They could bring FTR or the Young Bucks. But you know what? I'm going to stick with Dragon Lee y Dralistico. But you know what? I don't care. I'm going to take a siesta during that match. Uh, let's see here. Then eventually they're going to have a match for, I don't know, some belt. Oh, they're going to have a battle royal. Uh, Mr. Iguana wins the battle royal. You know what? Yeah. Their battle royals are always bonkers, though. Um... Probably, Probably. Oh, I have no Stone Cold Lock. That's not good. That's okay, though. Um, Triple Mania is so hard to predict anyway. You know what? My Stone Cold Lock, and I'll, I'll, I'll do the, the magic of, of editing, will be Blue Demon Jr. You know, no, 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 no. Psycho Clown. C, C, C. Psycho Clown is going to be my Stone Cold Lock. I had the snooze match if ever Dragon Lee and Dralisico face. Mr. Iguana. And therefore, oh no, oh, that's the match of the night. Well, this isn't the match of the night, but I forget if it's for some belt. I honestly forget. It's Laredo Kid versus Torus. Versus Bandito versus Phoenix versus Iho del Vikingo. They have to put a match on Bandito. He's Bandito. So yes, Bandito wins. And then, this is my true match de la lucha de la noche. And that's only because, oh, it's a woman's match. And they're so off the wall bonkers. Lady Shani versus La Hreda versus Flamer versus Marvella versus Chic Tormenta versus Sexy Star Dos versus Reina Dorado. Now the two last participants face off. So my two picks is <laughs> Chica Tormenta versus Sexy Star Dos. And out of that, you know what? <laughs> Only because, actually I do know, it's so weird, I know more of these women than I do in the AEW women. I'll say Chica Tormenta wins. And she's going to be something. Or she gets to keep her mask. I mean, Sexy Star loses her mask. That's not good. So that's Triple A. Triple Mania. So that's coming up. Now, I'll be the host of that because it is Triple Mania. I'm going to ask Senior Hobo Tom to work his magic and get things set up for me he's he's magicos and get things set up for me so that way all i do is show up and because it is triple a you know what that means live content so the first match i'll get, uh, i have to figure out have to figure out how i have things arranged but everything else for the most part in a fairly decent sized box. In a fairly decent sized box. Let's see it probably Yeah, over here. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, like this. Yeah, something like that. It's gonna be all over here in the section. Will be the actual match itself. You'll see my face. 
Actually, my face will be there. Um, matches there and somewhere up there. I don't know. Comments. Again, I, I shall have El Hobo del Vagabundo. List. C. So again, let's take a little break. And wait for a snob Dr. Tante Shaw. Buenos tardes, señores y señoritas. Hola, wait, hola, buenos tardes, buenos noches, uh, bueno con Dios. Yeah, that's everything. Hello, and welcome back, you simpletons, plebes that you all are. For I am the one, the only, I am Dr. Tom. And for the complaints, people have not liked my musical selection, so I shall try something new. Enjoy this unique tune, fitting for America's upcoming 4th of July celebration. I'd like to say, Brother Nero, I knew you'd screw up. Yes. For it is upon us, it is the predictions of Slamversary. 20 years. That's impressive. Yes. I have scotches that are that old. I've known. No. <laughs> the women I tend to admire tend to be more refined and a little bit more mature than 20 years old. Yes, with all that being said, it's time to get to some slam of us predictions for everyone knows that Impact Wrestling is the premier wrestling organization here in the United States. It's not going to be this bubble like forbidden door that pay-per-view belongs in a place like Daytona Beach the scum of hive and villainy villainous villainy the fixins but I digress so probably in some of the opening matches we'll have let's just start off say with the women's tag team match we have the influence Mad as the ever gorgeous Madison Rain and vivacious Tennille Dashwood taking on Taya Valkyrie and that fiend Rosemary. I predict there will be a switching of titles. Taya Valkyrie and Rosemary somehow will triumph over the influence. And then this match is a Filler match for that thief, that villain, that fifler, Brian Myers, who has acquired stolen property. Where are the police? Yes, must call in the authorities, authorities, for he with the digital media championship belt. At least it's a unique name. Faces the true holder of this belt, Richard Swan. But there shall be dastardly motivations, and Brian Myers shall retain that belt. But never fear, I will not watch such contrived, contriveness at its worst. Just take a nap. Then, oh, this shall not be for the faint of heart. We have the Death Machine, Samuel Callahan versus Moose from Moose Nation. Nation. 
I think Moose shall win. Yes. And then in my revered stone cold lock of the night. The team of Eddie Edwards, the miracle Mike Bennett, the other member of the kingdom, PCO, and Vincent shall be victorious against the Motor City Machine Guns, Frankie Kazarian. And it's either going to be one of two things. It's going to be Shark Boy. And I think it was filled in for me, James Storm. Not a bad choice. Or the two lesser members of Aces and Eights. But yes, my Stone Cold Lock bet all the money for you Ukrainians out there. You know, pennies and nickels and dimes that you have in your pocket. Bet all of that on honor no more. Then, oh, this gets good. Not my match of the night, but it could take the show. The Briscoes, the chicken farmers, the rednecks from Delaware take on people that are too sweet for... What, what is my hand doing? Life. And the Good Brothers in the Bullet Club. Yes. The Bullet Club will make its triumphant return. They shall get those belts off the Briscoes. And continue this feud. That will be good. Then we have the Women's Queen of the Mountain match. Most contrived match with a penalty cage and women's in cages and women beating up each other and women in rings with ropes and scantily clad at that you have the champion Tasha Steeles versus Chelsea Green versus Mia Yim versus Diana Prozzo versus Jordan Grace. Impact is not like other companies. They implore and reward other wrestlers to come into their dominion. Mia Yim takes that knockouts champion's belt. That sh uh, it's not the match of the night because it's going to be so contrived. It's not a nap because it could be interesting. But I'll tell you what, this is another contender for match of the night, but it's not. The X Division. The symbol of excellence. The X. You have the champion. And I forget if he won the Super Juniors. Hmm. I must do research upon that subject. Ace Austin versus Kenny King versus Speedball Mike Bailey. Versus Trey Miguel. Versus the returning Jack Evans. Versus. Alex Zane. One of those names are not like the other. You know what? For giggles. <laughs> Jack Evans will win. Any one of those is a worthy X division champion. And then in my match of the night. The champion, Joshua Alexander, the walking weapon. Versus the dastardly 
Gravely. Eric Young. Oh, this is going to be a good match. Eric Young will be your new, you'll rise above for like the machoist man. Oh, he said, the cream always rises to the top. Eric Young sh shall too elevate himself and become the new impact champion. Those are my predictions. Although impact's very odd. They tend to add stuff. So we shall see. Look at this hobo scribble. This, wait. Smell tequila. That stripper vanilla perfume. Female. Bodily fluids. Oh, what kind of list is this? That fiend. That ruffian. Io del hobo. Son of the hobo. The vagabond. Two must have been here. But I bid everyone here a fair adieu. For I have class and civilization. And do not like being in this contrived Mexican whorehouse. Damn it. I must speak to the owner of this brothel, Hobo Tom, and he must sanitize this place if he ever wants to see my presence again. But again, I bid everyone a fair idea. Again, do not be like Brother Nero or Tammy Seach. Well, ruffians them are. Enjoy the wrestling this weekend.